Hi friends, welcome back to Leapy for Yuda channel. My name is Vipul and today we are going to start with a new playlist which is based on the complete works of Swami Vivekananda. Now Swami Vivekananda needs no introduction. He was a key figure in introduction of Indian philosophies of Vedanta and Yoga to the Western world. And he is credited in raising interfaith awareness and bringing Hinduism to the status of major world religion in the late 19th century. And perhaps he is best known for his speech that began with Sisters and Brothers of America, wherein he introduced Hinduism in Parliament of World's Religion in Chicago in 1893. And what a better way to start this playlist with that roaring speech. So without much ado, let's dive into the speech directly. Sisters and brothers of America, it fills my heart with joy unspeakable to rise in response to warm and cordial welcome which you have given us. I thank you in the name of the most ancient order of monks in the world. I thank you in the name of the mother of religions. And I thank you in the name of millions and millions of Hindu people of all classes and sects. My thanks also to some of the speakers on this platform who are referring to delegates from Orient have told you that these men from far away nation may well claim the honor of bearing of different lands, the idea of toleration. I'm proud to belong to a religion which has taught the world both tolerance and universal acceptance. We believe not only the universal toleration but we accept all religions as true. I'm proud to belong to a nation which has sheltered the persecuted and the refugee of all religion and all nations of the earth. I'm proud to tell you that we have gathered in our bosom the purest remnant of Israelites who came from southern India and took refuge with us in the very year which their holy temples were shattered to pieces by Roman tyranny. I'm proud to belong to a religion which has sheltered and is still fostering the remnant of grand Zoroastrian nation. I'll quote you Brithen, a few lines from Haman, which I remember to have repeated from my earliest boyhood, which is very day repeated by millions of human beings. As the different streams have their sources in different places, all mingle the water in the sea, so, O oh Lord, the different paths which men take through different tendencies, various thoughts, they appear, crooked and straight, all lead to thee. The present convention, which is one of the most august assemblies ever held, and it itself is a vindication, a declaration to the world, to the wonderful doctrine preached by Gita. Whomsoever comes to me, through whatsoever form, I'll reach him. All men are struggling through path, which in end lead to me. Sacrinism, biogatory, its horrible descendant, fanatism, have long possessed the beautiful earth. They have filled the earth with violence, civil, <coughs> drenched it often and often human, with human blood, destroyed civilization and sent the whole nation to despair. Had it not been those horrible demons, human society would be far more advanced than it is now. But their time has come. And I fervently hope that all bell that trolled this morning in its honor on this convention may be death knell for all fanatism, of all persecutions with the sword of with the pen, and all the uncharitable feelings between persons <coughs> wending their ways to the same goal. I will tell you a little story. You have heard the eloquent speaker who has just finished. Let us cease from abusing each other. And he was very sorry that there should be always so much variance. 
But I think I will tell you a story which will illustrate the cause of this variance. A frog lived in a well. It had lived there for a long time. It was born there and brought up there. And yet, little small frog, of course, the evolutionists were not there to tell us whether the frog lost his eye or not. But for our story's sake, we must take it for granted that it has its eyes. And that's every day cleansed with water of all forms and bacilli that lived in it with an energy that would do credit to our modern bacteriologists. In a way, it went to and become little sleek and fat. Well, one day another frog that lived in the sea came and fell into that well. Where are you from? I am from the sea. The sea? How big is that? It is as big as my well. And he took a leaf from one side and well to the other side. My friend, said the frog of the sea, how do you compare sea with the little well? Then the frog looked at another leaf and asked, is your sea so big? What nonsense you speak to compare the sea with your well? Well, said the frog to a well, nothing can be bigger than my well. There can be nothing bigger than this. This fellow is liar, so turn him out. That has been the difficulty all the while. I am a Hindu. I am sitting in my own little well. Thinking that whole world is my little well. The Christian sits in his little well and thinks the whole world in his well. The Mohammedan sits on his little well and thinks that's the whole world. I have to thank you, America, for the great attempt you are making to break down the barriers of little world of ours and hope that in the future the Lord will help you and accomplish your purpose.